Greetings, mortals. I am your humble host, F.A. Jason, speaking. Coming to you guys, showcasing the uh, the main event of my 36th birthday present. The Arcade 1-Up Terminator 2 Judgment Day Arcade Machine. This is a expensive equipment. Um, it was on sale for about $150 off. Uh, we got a Best Buy at the Fort at the Fort and um the Fort Worth Heritage Parkway location, and uh, the reason why I didn't have a video up yesterday was because I spent most of yesterday putting this bad boy together, which was not easy. And uh, while well, it has some audio issues. Um, uh, I, I would imagine a whole bunch of uh, arcade one-up machines would have audio problems. Um, it still works. Like it's, it works surprisingly well. Normally I go for blue gun, but since I'm close, I'm trying to showcase everything here. I'm gonna be going with uh, the red one for the time being. I just did do a, a recording video, but that's going to be more of a extra stuff. So, press the on button. The marquee turns on. You have to stand back at a certain distance. Let's hit the start button. There we go. So here you get uh, on the main menu screen, you can play the game. Um, you get the making of video and then you can just go in, change, change the settings, uh, how many continues you want, how much to... Or, yes, it's asking for a wireless. I don't have to code for it right now, but uh, how many bombs? Uh, what difficulty? So here's what the game play will look like, and you get this to hear the uh, the guns in my hand. Here you get the attract mode. Oh, I didn't save my score. Because <laughs> I actually beat it earlier. Um, my first, my, uh, for the first time. Like I said, the song quality is not the greatest, but uh, from what I've heard, a lot of arcade one-up machines don't have the best audio quality. And I didn't notice that the, uh, the, the music in these levels are much slower than they were from the original. I am the future. And I am the past. We both come from the future. I'm the good robot. He's bad. He's going to kill me at the end and that will be real sad. much like the, uh, the original Terminator arcade game, uh, the guns would make this noise, even though the guns were originally mounted on the arcade machine itself, uh, these are kind of wired, but these actually work really, really well.
So that's what the red one sounds like. If you're wondering what the blue one sounds like. Sounds like that. So that's T2 Arcade. While the music in some of the sound quality isn't the greatest, the, uh, I mean, the sound effects do sound, uh, fine. Um, I've noticed playing it, no slowdowns, no, uh, the, the, um, the frame rate never once dipped. And, uh, visually it looks pretty good. And I can imagine this, you know, being a whole, a whole lot of fun to play, especially on a Friday night. Um, I can imagine going to my new apartment building, uh, just getting some food across the street, some chicken and pizza, for, or pizza for, for, you know, people who come over, and then playing this for a little while and seeing a movie afterwards. Hurry up! No! I don't want to go, Maria! I am the future. So that's basically it in a nutshell. Um, a little story about uh, getting this, uh, since I need to put it into context. Last year, I was supposed to get an arcade machine for uh, my 35th birthday when I moved into this apartment complex, which was supposed to be um, Star Wars. That one got stolen because <laughs> it was shipped here instead of at my parents' apartment, which I originally wanted because I knew that there was, there was no way that, you know, leaving it out there was a good idea but it was left in the hallway because they couldn't put it into this apartment and the managers at the front office were obviously lying when they mentioned about certain things and they weren't really honest about you I mean they said that you know they can hold on to it but then they said that they can't so uh so star wars got stolen and so, we got our money back from Amazon, thankfully, where it was purchased from. So that was a major bummer as far as a birthday present is concerned. And plus, we, uh, I had to wait until months later in order to get anything like that, because we were moving from Maryland uh, down to Texas, which in itself is frustrating, because once again, you're moving to another location, but you're moving to a completely different state. Well, then I'm still not quite used to. So then, uh, in October, I was gonna get uh, Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time, um, from Best Buy, and we did order it. Then it got lost, twice, uh, from two different shipping companies. Um, two arcade machines being lost because they couldn't get the location correct uh, from this apartment complex, which it's hard enough getting this entire apartment complex even showing up on Google Maps even now. So this is not a really good location. I mean, yes, this apartment complex is new, but, you know, it's, it's still a frustrating headache because one minute it says it's in Roanoke, one minute it says it's in Fort Worth. Next minute, it says it's in Keller, and all I'm all I can really imagine is well, where are where is this place where I'm living at? You know. So two machines lost, and ultimately we got our money back, thankfully. And from that point, it was going to be Killer Instinct, but then I decided to wait for Killer Instinct Pro. And that was, and for the longest time, that was going to be the one I was going to get. But as of right now, there's still zero pre-orders for that damn thing. So I decided, you know what? I'm not waiting anymore. 
So I decided to look into what else was around that we could get. And the thing is that Terminator 2 Arcade was... It's... It's a pretty awesome arcade machine to get either way. And the initial, I guess, the, the initial uh, inspirations for me wanting to get an arcade machine as a kid. And even though I have an arcade one-up, I would still love, like, an actual mm -hmm. arcade machine. Um, but what originally got me to wanting an arcade machine as a kid was, one, my uncle has, or had, I don't know if he still has it because I don't talk to him. Uh, he had in his basement both Lethal Weapon, Pinball, and Centipede. And in a comic book at the time, I remember seeing an advertisement for Terminator 2. It was like I said, this baby was on sale for like $150 off. And um, we were able to get this shipped directly to the store at Best Buy. So I figured, you know what? Might as well pick this up. It's an awesome arcade machine. It's got really cool guns. It's much bigger than most ar uh, arcade one-ups, even though it's still standard. Uh, I, I think one thing they should have offered is, like, better sound quality. I don't know why arcade one-up keeps doing stuff like that, uh, from what other people have been mentioning in their videos, and you can really tell. But it's not a deal-breaker. I mean, it's... <laughs> It still sounds good. It plays good. The video quality is actually really nice. And like I said, even from a distance, these controls actually really uh, work really, really well. So I have no complaints. So to me, it's just a minor gripe. Um, what was the other story? Oh, yeah. Uh, years ago... For my birthday in 2015, I was originally going to get the uh, Terminator 2 Arcade, but then I decided to get the Xbox One instead. <laughs> so a lot of history with just trying to get this uh, this this arcade machine into some degree. And uh, you know what? I think it's worth it. It's a cool arcade machine. I think if you're able, if 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 you want to kind of do some custom work and get some different um, you know, if you if some people got a different marquee, I think it works fine. I have no complaints. I think it's 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 serviceable. It, it lights up. Uh, the sound quality, I think, is probably the the only thing I might look into. Uh, but like I said, it's it's not bad. It's it could be better. It's not perfect, and it different. And you could definitely hear some some. Some static. Uh, well, I don't know if it's static, but I did notice that the music is slower in pitch. But this is still, I mean, from what I said, it's still really awesome. The, the, vi the video quality is good. The controls are good. And ultimately, I'm just happy I actually got something. And even and I'm actually happy I was able to put this thing together because this was not easy. <laughs> and my back's been, pro it been basically hurting me all day anyway. So it took me hours and hours and hours and hours just to put this thing together all by myself. So I had to think on my feet. And um, I mean, to be honest, this is... If you're gonna get like a birthday present for for your 36th birthday or just any birthday for that matter, and you want something cool to show people, this is a perfect way to do it. Like, so if if you folks are are interested in picking up a Terminator 2 arcade machine, they are still available from arcadeoneup.com, and it's still listed as available through BestBuy.com. And, I mean, you're not going to find this on, like, a uh, Xbox One or PlayStation 4 slash 5. So, even though that would have been awesome, like, I've always imagined years ago if they were to do, like, a uh, <laughs> like a throwback to Midway Arcade Treasures. That would have been great, you know, for them to do, like, Revolution X, The Grid, MK4, Carnival, T2, the arcade game, um, Area 51... 
like uh, war gods or just getting every other Midway game that they had at the time as like another compilation. I miss that because I really loved um, Midway Arcade Treasures 2 that had uh, Primal Rage, MK2 and 3. It had uh, Rampage World Tour Edition, Pit Fighter, uh, Total Carnage, Narc. Like, I can imagine Arcade 1-Up eventually uh, doing NARC with the same uh, colored guns. Even though it's kind of weird that the red one does not have the uh, the round thing. But it still worked pretty well. And you know, yeah, even though they, they sound different, I, I think I, I, I like the fact that they actually do sound different. Because at least you know who's player 1 and who's player 2. Anywho, I'm rambling on. Uh, just, <laughs> I'm going to turn this thing off for the time being. There we go. Powering off. Come on, Miria. I just want to go and play Terminator 2. <laughs> yes, I can do the Arnold voice, but I'm, I'm getting pretty lazy about it right now. But anyway, I'm just... Anywho, oh, yeah. And that's the box I got it in. It even has part of the uh, Terminator Endo Skull uh, on it. This is pretty cool in terms of box designs. I'm not going to lie. All right. This is Epic Jason speaking. Hope you all have a kick-ass day. And, uh, yeah, like I said, if you, if you guys want to... If you're interested... And you want to pick up your own copy of T2, you know where to get it. It should still be on sale for the time being. If you can conjure up uh, almost 600 bucks, I think it's worth it. So, 